Whoa. Big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. I'm going to show you the big secret of Argentinians to cook crispy and juicy steaks. I'm going to be cooking something very special, an Argentinian trick that you may have never seen before. And for that, we got to pick up some delicious meat. I'm at the back end of the butchery from Gertjan van der Horst in Eerbeek. This is where the good stuff is. He had something sitting aside for me, Black Angus cow, black Angus meat, and I got three beautiful pieces that together make up the half side of cow. We're gonna butcher it at home, but hey John, first of all, thank you man for uh, getting us some beautiful meat and making sure that uh, we're well supplied, because these guys here, they are hungry for meat. They wanna see us make the beautiful pieces. Ask him for something, and he, he probably knows what you need. So if ever you wonder where do I get my meat from, because I was looking for a special piece, and that's right here, because I want to show you a trick that people use in South America to make steaks extra tasty. And this piece of meat is a very, very much favorite piece of meat in South America. It's called the flank steak as a whole, and specifically, like, this is the flank steak, um, but the skirt's in there, buffet's in there, still the ribs are in here. So now I'm gonna go quickly back home, take the cow apart, and I'm gonna show you my trick. Uh, whew. 60 kilograms of pure Black Angus beef. Oh man, this is so heavy. <laughs> oh. Woo. Now I'll get the rest, which is luckily a lot lighter. Welcome to the Pitmaster X Butcher Shop. Time to take this beautiful piece apart. The rest of it is already in the dry age cabinet. Now I'm gonna work on the piece that Argentina people love so much and have special tricks for. Step one is to take a look at this whole flank section and I still have a bone in piece right here. This is part of the beef that's called the inside skirt stick. Now I'm gonna cut this out and I'm gonna use my butcher's knife and I'm gonna leave that silver skin on just some so just an incision right there, starting to work my way onto the next level of beef. And you can see that it tears open here. So we're going all the way in, follow that fat, keep that pocket of meat, silver skin and fat attached. Now it's starting to become clear that the meat is in a pocket of silver skin and fat, and that's where I want to keep it. So I'm working my knife along the meat in between the two pockets, tearing, and I'm just letting it slide through. Now we have what the Argentinian called the fake skirt steak. I got my flank steak, but more importantly, I got my buffet. Look at that. And it's completely covered in silver skin and fat. Now normally, nothing in my mind would think this is a good idea to leave it on, but if a meat-loving country filled with people think it's a good idea to cook it like this, then who am I to disagree with them? And cooking a steak like that is gonna require us to fire up the barbecue. Now this is the closest thing that I have to an Argentinian style grill. And the main thing with Argentinian style cooking is going low and slow with direct heat. And what they do is they create distance between the meat and the actual fire. So a little bit of embers, and then a lot of distance between meat and fire. So basically, you're grilling, but at the same time, you're cooking very, very slowly. This is the Napoleon Charcoal Professional. I'm gonna load it up with charcoal, light it up, and let the barbecue in itself come up to temperature. And while the charcoal is getting up to temperature, we're gonna season this steak with just some salt and some pepper. Now most of this salt is gonna fall off the steak, so don't be scared. Put plenty of it on. Of course, I'm gonna season both sides. Now I'm gonna leave this on the board as it is while I wait for my charcoal to come up to temperature. Once the charcoal is fully lit, we're gonna spread it out. Make sure it's evenly divided over the full grill surface. And now let me show you the best trick this grill has to offer. I'm gonna lower the charcoal bed all the way down. With the charcoal at a low position, I have control of the amount of heat that my steak gets. 
So it's time to put the grill grates back in and start grilling. The charcoal, <laughs> it's really hot. The grill's hot. That's what I wanted to say. The grill's nice and hot. The heat is equally divided. And that's when I want to start cooking. So I'm going to put on my steak. There we go. And the first thing that's going to happen is that cast iron grill grate is going to leave its mark. It's going to let go of all the energy that's been taken on. And then the heat from the charcoal comes in, little twinkles of fat drop down into the fire, making little twirls of smoke and making everything super, super tasty. <laughs> That's like hitting a gold mine. Absolute beautiful crust, and look at the juices running. Look at it. Oh, let's get this on the board and let it rest. Listen to this crust. So crunchy and crispy. Now that's the secret behind Argentinian steaks. But I grilled it so hard, I gotta let it rest properly. The outside's much further cooked than the inside is, so I'm now letting it relax and slowly let the temperatures become equal and all the juices running back and becoming excellent. And in the meantime, I'm gonna show you how to make an Argentinian style butter sauce. Cast iron pan over the fire, raise up the charcoal bed, put a stick of butter in the pan, press in three cloves of garlic, let the butter melt, add two twigs of rosemary, two tablespoons of cumin powder, two tablespoons of paprika powder, half a tablespoon of salt, and half a tablespoon of ground black pepper. Stir it up and let it mix with the butter. Give it a few minutes and then it's done. Take a little bit of this beautiful stuff and if only you could smell this, guys, it really is mesmerizing. And then just drizzle it onto that beautiful steak. There we go. This is gonna build up another layer of flavor. Let's take a look inside. Whoa, look at that beautiful steak. See how juicy that is. <laughs> beautiful steak, beautiful crunch. Beautiful slice of beef. Roasted Argentina style, look at it. Oh, dipped in that butter sauce. Now maybe this butter sauce is gonna really like change everything. You definitely need to give it a try. And so will I. Mm. Beautiful butter sauce. Here we go. Mm. Now, of course, the real magic is on the stuff that we grilled on the outside. The magic trick that the Argentinians are not showing us, but keeping for themselves. Oh. Magical. That's like Tetuanas. Identical, but from beef. It's really, really, really brave of you to wear a white shirt. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move away now. Step away from the sauce. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, then leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below. And I want to say thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Until then, don't wear a white shirt. It's makkelijk, and keep on grilling.